This is Ben with MakeUseOf.com, and today I'm going to show you how to restrict the background usage of any app in Android. Now, there are many reasons you might want to do this. Uh, most people's mobile phone plans do not include unlimited data, so by using your mobile data, you're costing yourself money if you use too much. Um, you also might not want apps phoning home or accessing the internet in the background in some cases. So, I'm going to show you a couple of ways to do this. Um, one main way that's built in, and then another way that uses uh, a secondary app. So the first way that's built in is you want to open up the settings app on your phone. Uh, if you don't know how to get there, just drag down twice from the top of the screen. Go ahead and select that settings gear in the bottom right. Uh, do note that I'm using Android 9 Pie, uh, the latest version at the time of this recording. Uh, so if your phone is running a different version of Android, this might look a little bit different for you. On the main settings screen, go ahead and tap network and internet. And then here you're going to want to tap on data usage. Now here you're going to see some different statistics based on your data usage. Uh, you can actually turn mobile data off entirely here if you tap the slider. Um, that's a bit of a nuclear option. You can do that if you want to, but then if you want to use data for any reason when you're out and about, uh, you're going to have to turn that slider back on. So I wouldn't recommend that unless you've really gone over your data limit and you need to make sure you don't use any more. Um, but we're not going to do that, so we're going to tap on uh, app data usage. And here you can actually go in and see uh, what apps have used the most data recently. So it's a good idea to look at these to get an idea of what is using a lot of data to see what you might want to block from using it. So in this case, we'll tap on Spotify and we can see how much data Spotify has used in the foreground, which means the app is open when we're using it. And in the background, which means that our phone is turned off, or our, our phone's in sleep mode, or we have another app in the foreground while we're using it. If you turn off the background data slider, uh, it means that that app will not be able to use any data in the background. So it will only be able to access the internet on mobile data when the app is in front of you and open in the foreground. So this is a good option for apps, uh, maybe like Spotify, that you don't want them to play music unless you're looking at the app, or something like Google Maps, where you only want to use it if the screen is on and you're looking at it. So that's the, the main way to do that. You can feel free to go through here and toggle any app you want uh, and block them from using mobile data. Now, something else you might want to do while you're here, if you set data warning and limit, this is kind of related, you can set a data warning uh, in megabytes or gigabytes, and you can choose um, how you want your phone to warn you when you're getting close to your data limit. So maybe you have a limit of five gigabytes per month. You might have your phone pop up and, and tell you at four gigabytes, hey, you might want to be careful. Uh, that way you're not going to go over your, your data limit. Uh, if you tap on set data limit, uh, your data will totally totally turn off. Um, so you can set that way closer to your limit, maybe 4.9 gigabytes. And then when you hit that, your phone just won't use data anymore. So that's a good way to do that if you need to. Uh, finally, you should know about the data saver option. So when you go into here, um, basically this is sort of like the battery saver mode where you can turn it on and it just makes a few small uh, adjustments so you use less data. Basically, it prevents apps from using data in the background just like we talked about uh, and it also kind of slows down apps using data in the foreground. Uh, so if you're, say, browsing through your Twitter feed, it might not load an image until you tap on it or if there's a, a website you visit in Chrome that has a lot of images, it might not load those images until you uh, scroll past them. So these are good ways to reduce your data usage with built-in tools as well. If this doesn't do what you want, there actually is another great app you can use. We're going to go over to here, and it is called NetGuard. So NetGuard is a free and open source app for Android that acts basically as a local firewall. Um, if you're not familiar with what a firewall does, essentially it just lets you block what apps, or in, in this case apps, uh, can go out and in of your phone. So you can specify exactly what apps you want to be able to make a connection. So once you install NetGuard, you'll be greeted here with a list of apps you have installed on your phone. Um, and you can, you can get uh, into some customization here, but really it's quite simple. Um, if you just tap on either the Wi-Fi or the data symbols, you'll be able to block apps from using either type of connection. So you can actually just scroll through and say, I don't want this app to be able to use data. I don't want that app to be able to use data. Uh, and whenever you do that, it will simply block them um, from using either data or Wi-Fi. If you tap on an app and expand it, you'll be able to toggle, toggle some different options. So for example, uh, let's say you, you want to block mobile ad, data on an app. You can say, I want to allow it when the screen is on. So um, I don't want it to use data at all unless I'm using it, like we said with Google Maps. Um, you know, you, you want to use it when the screen's on, but you might not want it to chew up data in the background when you're not using it. 
So you can really customize a lot with NetGuard. Uh, once you're done, just make sure to tap, tap that slider in the top left. Uh, it's gonna tell you that it uses a VPN, which I'm not gonna enable here because I'm already using a VPN, but that just enables a local filter so that apps can't access the internet if you don't want them to. So overall, those are our two top methods for blocking uh, mobile data access for apps on Android. Um, you could get a little bit fancier if you had a rooted phone, uh, but for most people, these methods will work just fine. So find the apps that use a lot of data in the background uh, for you last month or the last couple months, and then you can use these tricks uh, to save yourself on some mobile data on your bill next month. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to Make Use of's YouTube channel if you haven't already for more tutorials like this, as well as giveaways and other video content. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.